It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next. In between the cities of Dallas and Fort Worth, it's Arlington, Texas. Host to the grand mecca of football, AT&T Stadium, the home of the Cowboys. Good to be with you. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we've been around for a minute, as the kids like to say. I called your games. There are guys who you played with back in your day who are now the veteran players in the league. And we got a couple of veterans here at quarterback. What a difference it makes for a team when they come in with a guy who knows what he's doing back at quarterback. Oh, and it really does. And remember, Mike, the only way to gain experience is to gain experience. There's no magic formula. you got to be in the fire, make mistakes, make great plays, learning lessons. The more you see, the better you get. And no position is that more magnified than in the NFL at the quarterback position. So the fact that these guys have played so many games, so many seasons, they've seen so much, that's a huge advantage for each of these teams. Now the question is, in today's matchup, who comes out on top? The Saints coming out, and the veteran leads them. It's their quarterback, Derek Carr, nine years with the Raiders. Now year two with the Saints, Greg, for a man who's now 33 years old. There's no denying he is a passionate and productive NFL quarterback. But as good as he is, Mike, he just hasn't quite found a way to get over the hump to join that upper echelon of elite quarterbacks. He has this big arm. He can sling it all over the field. But that big arm is also what gets him into trouble sometimes. He needs to find that happy medium between taking care of the ball while still being aggressive. And if he can do that, he'll have as good a chance as any to come out on top. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Carr working out of the gun. That one complete to A.T. Perry. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. On first down, Carr. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Second and seven. From the shotgun. It's caught. The right side to Olave. Here's a third down and four. Olave is the motion man. Car from the gun on third down. He's got his man, that's Olave. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. First down throw for Carr. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. 
But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? A gain there of 16 yards. It's good for a Saints first down. This is how you draw opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. On first down, they'll stay with Kamara on the ground. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's a second and six. Car to throw. To the left side into the hands of Olave. And he's in. Chris Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Blake Krupe comes on for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Saints will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as it kicks away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There aren't many quarterbacks in this league who come under the microscope as often as this guy does. I mean, he isn't perfect by any means, but you can certainly do a lot worse than having him lined up as your guy leading your offense. He has the athleticism to bail himself out of bad situations, but also the arm talent to make every throw on the field. So as long as he protects the ball, that's been the biggest thing in his career. If he can do that, man, he's as good as they come in this league. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. We'll go play action. It's Prescott. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm, but through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now, Prescott will get this out quickly to Lamb. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him 
corralled them, take them down short of the sticks. To return, it's Shahid. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The Saints offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Carr. Quick throw out wide. It's caught. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Far now. He'll dump this down to the fullback coming out of the backfield. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Seems like the fullback is kind of the last of a dying breed, but we see them used occasionally in the run game. But, man, when you have a guy that you can target in the passing game, it just adds one more layer for a defense to have to worry about. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Got a man coming across the field. He's got it. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Car now to throw on first down. That's going to be pulled in by Camara. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Second and a yard. Throwing is Carr. This one on target to Olave. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. They'll run. It's Williams to the five-yard line. Here now, second down and goal. Here's Carr. That's hauled in at the two. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back, and it sets up fourth and goal. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look, and we'll step out for a moment. So, instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. Rupees kick is good. And the Saints will extend to a 10-0 lead. Defense. 
So the mistake there, the roughing call on the field goal, they'll take the three points off the board, keep possession of the ball, and have it first down. So some early intrigue as we have reached the end of the first quarter. The Saints out on top. We're back to Arlington in a moment. Now it is first and goal. Play action now. It's Oh, no chance to get rid of that one. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. I don't hate the play call. The best opportunity to throw the ball down this close to the goal line is usually on first or second down, Mike. The issue here is the quarterback has to know if my first read is not open, this ball needs to be thrown out the back of the end zone. You cannot take a sack this close to the goal line. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. The tight end Moreau is in motion. Out of the gun, here's a give to Camara. And he keeps the legs moving, able to get it down inside the five. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Throwing here on third and goal. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. Rupees kick is good. And the Saints will extend to a 10-0 lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there. But I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. On the return, here's Turpin. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Cowboys offense ready to take over for their second possession. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. Shotgun snap for Prescott. A pass caught by the veteran. That's Brandon Cooks. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. You don't want to make a living off of making these kind of throws, Mike. It's one thing to throw into tight coverage, but it's another thing to throw into tight double coverage. And while the quarterback gets away with one here, I don't think you want to make a living doing it. In motion, Lamb. Dak going to throw it here on first down. Right back to Cooks. He's got another one. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Every defense in the league, Mike, they stress the importance of defending the middle of the field. It's the most valuable real estate in football. 
And in this case, that's just too much room to operate. They have to find a way to close and cloudy up those windows, make the quarterback throw the ball to the sidelines. And you allow him to operate in there, especially with that much space, you're going to make for a long day. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest gain. They face second down and seven. We'll toss here to Zeke. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a game of about one. Demario Davis there on the play. Here comes third and six. To throw is Dak. He'll try to run for it. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. Now Prescott. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Dak Prescott, touchdown Dallas. When you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Brandon Aubrey now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cowboys are on the board. It's 10 to 7. Kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kicks away. Here comes the all pro returner from last year, Rashid Shaheed. He'll get this up to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Now, out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. the outside complete to Johnson and they will bring him down on the other side of midfield every once in a while it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here the quarterback just dumps the ball down a quick underneath completion and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. On first down, Carr. 
Quick throw here is complete. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Car now on second down. Got it into the hands of Olave. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Really impressive job by the quarterback to stay in there. He knew that hit was coming in the pocket, but he held it just long enough to let his receiver win versus man coverage and deliver that ball on target. That's such an important factor. Any quarterback in the league, Mike, at this level can operate when things are clean. But when you have guys bearing down on you, can you hold it a little bit longer? Because if not, the timing of the play just doesn't work out. That's a gain of 11, and they'll move the chains with another first down. Nice pickup here to the back, and what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for, because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. And that is punt in the end zone. He's in. A.T. Perry. Touchdown, Saints. What separates the really good quarterbacks from everybody else in the National Football League, Mike, is not only ability to process, but the ability to process quickly under pressure. And I think that's exactly the case here. He's able to go through his progression, find his target in the end zone, and then deliver that ball on time, accurately. And the result is a touchdown. On comes Blake Groupie for the PAT. He's got it. The Saints will get out in front 17 to 7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here's Turpin. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. Operating from the gun. Here's Dak. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for Brandon Cooks with that pass. It's second down. There's a saying on defense, Mike. Tips and overthrows, you've got to get those. Those got to turn into interceptions. So if you're the offense here, after you saw that ball batted in the air, man, I can promise you it felt like a lifetime waiting to see if it just falls harmlessly to the ground. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. That defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are unwilling. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Willie Gay. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. The Saints offense and Derek Carr set to take over once more. They'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Oh, 
They'll come up here first and ten. The tight end Moreau is in motion. Open man down the field. It's Olave. And he will score. Chris Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. Groupie now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Saints up their lead. It's now 24 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here's Turpin and he brings this back all the way to midfield the Cowboys offense getting those helmets back on ready to head out for their next possession they'll start with great field position right at midfield with a first down Prescott now. Open man downfield. It's CeeDee Lamb. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. That last completion's going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. He'll get this complete. It's Lamb again. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome. So it makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. Prescott on first down. That's to the left side. He's got Ferguson. And he will get into the end zone. Jake Ferguson. Touchdown, Cowboys. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there, ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. On for the PAT is Aubrey. He's got it. The Cowboys back within 10. It's now 24 to 14. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Now an opening past the 30. 
And the kicking team right there, stopping him before he can get to the 15-yard line. The Saints offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one. He spread it around, hasn't taken many chances, and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. First and 10 now from the 36. No motion there, tight end Johnson. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They send him right out of the slot. Now, a second down throw from Carr. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. The Cowboys offense going to get it one final time in this first half. The deficit is at 10, so an important... And I believe the referee was buzzed by the replay officials indicating let's get a closer look at this. They trigger this automatically in the last two minutes of the half. Saints going to use their second timeout. The clock is stopped with 26 seconds until the break. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Carr working out of the gun. He'll look underneath here and find Kamara. And they will get the first down here and move into field goal range inside the 25. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here comes Blake Groupie for this field goal drop. This one from 41 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Saints going to tack on three more, extending the lead here late in the first half. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. The return starts from the five. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we hit halftime with the visiting Saints in front, as we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. 
Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Cowboys offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Now, Prescott has completed right side to Ferguson. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game but so far off to a good start. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 14 yards on the pickup there. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. A first down throw for Prescott. Over the middle to his tight end, Ferguson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Initially, when the quarterback looked his tight end's way, I thought he had a chance for a big pickup. He had nice separation there early. Let's give credit to the defense. They were able to rally quickly to the ball, and... Keep that from being an even bigger game. Now Prescott going to make the read and keep it himself. What a pick up, a gain of 18. And it sets up first and goal. So Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner. The quarterback pulls the ball and he's able to take off for a big game. A run on first and goal. Not much there, maybe a yard. Ball right on the five yard line, second down and goal. Prescott. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And now it's third and goal. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. It is brought in, in the end zone. Brandon Cooks, touchdown, Dallas. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. He's got it. And the Cowboys are back within six.
teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's Williams. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Saints offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. From 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Here's Carr throwing from the pistol. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. They'll come up now for second down and four. From the shotgun, it's caught. This one is caught by Moreau. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why think about it Mike sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs on the handoff it's Kamara and he'll take this forward for about three it's second down They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Second down, Carr. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think. Here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. Slot man in motion right. Car from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. Fair catch is called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and veteran Brandon Cooks getting set for this next possession. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drop. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Prescott. That's complete to Elliott. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel in. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. He'll get this out to his running back. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game, just one more thing for the defense to have to defend, 
Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing it. Back to back, gains of 10 yards, and back to back first downs. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. Pistol now from Prescott. He'll drop this for Elliott. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Well, this is a great example of the old saying, Mike. You never go broke taking a profit. Give credit to this quarterback. I know it's not the big explosive play he was looking for, but getting the ball into the hands of his running back, allow him to pick up some extra yardage after the catch. Prescott again. A toss, left side, caught by his running back. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup, but that is enough for a first down. I think the rest of those receivers in the huddle have all come to the realization that they might not be getting a target anytime soon. And frankly, I don't blame them. I mean, they're riding the hot hand, and rightfully so. Until this defense proves that they can stop him in the passing game, I expect the quarterback to just continue to go back to him time and time again. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Dak going to run with it himself. What a pickup, a gain of 18. And it sets up first and goal. This defense has had their share of troubles trying to contain this quarterback today, Mike. This time they go to the zone read. The defender goes after the running back, and the quarterback pulls it, keeps it himself, and has a huge gain for a first down. They'll have to go the full 10 yards. It's first and goal. Here's a run. And he's into the end zone. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole, as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme, and next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. Aubrey now for the extra point. The kick is good. Cowboys have taken the lead by a point here in the third. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return it's Rashid Shaheed he'll work his way across the 25 yard line the visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one this defense has been picked apart that is borne out in those impressive numbers he has been terrific all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw is caught. That's going to be pulled in by Kamara. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. 
Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. On first down, Carr. Olave come across the field. He's got it. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well, not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Kamara. Down the sideline, inside the 25. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. The challenge of playing a running back like this is you feel like you have him under control. You're doing a nice job putting a lid on him, and then all of a sudden, he's got a big spark play like this. That's the challenge. These guys are just so talented. You can only keep them down so long. That was a really nice run. Quick throw, taken in. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll work now on second and four. Carr. This one caught at the four. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back. It looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back at the 17-yard line. The defensive coaches, they preached all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often, it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. So a pressure kick coming here for Blake Groupie. This to take the lead here in the fourth. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here's Turpin. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They trail by two. And we'll start this drive with first and ten. taken down after a gain of two. Second down and eight. Throwing is Prescott. This pass right side taken in by Cooks. 
Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Dak going to throw it here on first down. Right back to Cooks. He's got another one. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. Open man down the field, it's Ferguson. A pickup there of 25 yards. First down, Cowboys. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Now they are in business, inside the 15-yard line. Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Oh, he's hit behind the line, and the ball is out. And there it is. The defense comes up with the big play, forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field. Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it, some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. So Chris Olave and the rest of the Saints offense getting ready for their next possession. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. And a good gain. He's going to be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple-possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. Car now to throw on first down. Quick throw, out wide, it's caught. Here's second and two. Here comes Williams on the toss to the right. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down.
He'll try and run for this with Kamara. The Saints will punt this one away as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. Perhaps he didn't get all of it. Their catch is taken right around midfield. Here's Dak Prescott and the Cowboy offense set to go again. And he has had all sorts of trouble in this one. Your quarterback has to take care of the ball, and he has not turning it over in the air turning it over as a fumbler you just cannot win football games in this league when the quarterback's given the defense the ball and that's what he's done in this one set to go now on first and ten From the shotgun, it's Dak. He's got the open man. That's Jalen Tobin. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. It takes a certain guy in that slot position to be willing and able to go across the middle of the defense on those in-breaking routes. You can tell this guy, he doesn't care. He is fearless going across the middle, and he's able to secure a nice catch. They'll keep it on the ground. He'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. Here's Elliott. And not a whole lot to speak of there. He'll work it down inside the 35. They'll come up for second and nine. Elliott. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. They'll drop to throw. He'll get this one complete to Schoonmaker. He is in. Luke Schoonmaker. Touchdown, Dallas. Just a beautiful ball there by the quarterback. And the point I want to make here, Mike, and make sure the viewer understands is, in the NFL, if you have to wait for a guy to be open and then deliver the ball, it's too late. So often, these quarterbacks throw their guy open. They anticipate where the void in the coverage is going to be. That's exactly the reason this play worked out here, Mike. And... He's able to connect here for a big touchdown. On for the PAT is Aubrey. It's up and good. And the Cowboys will up the lead to five. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Williams on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. 
decent field position to start this drive. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's first down. And the shotgun. It's caught. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. 19 yards right away to kick off this drive. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet... Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play, ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play, and that's exactly what they did. Second down, Carr. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. They'll come up for first and ten. Carr working out of the gun. He'll look underneath here and find Kamara. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Here we go. One final play. And that is incomplete. They took the end zone shot of the final play. It's a heartbreaking finish. And this one will come to an end. So it's a win for the Cowboys. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys, as we say so long from Arlington.